I've got a couple of things to say about Sonic CD. You guys are so fucking mean to this game, and quite frankly, I think that this game is amazing. It's got amazing art, it's got amazing music, it's got a fucking... It... The point is, you will suck for shitting on this game, and I'm gonna tell you why this game is epic, and why you're a stinky, dill-pickled douchebag son of a bitch for thinking against it. First of all, you're a Sonic fan, so you immediately have a really small penis that's not funny. My issue with Sonic City is so burningly deep that, like, it's frustrating to talk about because the art is so good, the music is so good, the aesthetic, you know, they nail everything, but the gameplay. Literally everything but what matters the most. How- why? You got these sick concepts like the time stones and, and the, the time travel gimmick and little planet crawling out the back of a fucking EB games all crusty and gross and it just- it really hurts that the foundation for this game has so much potential. All the little things are great, but the gameplay is just not good, and let's talk about why. Traditional Sonic games, and by that I mean like the last two that were before this, follow that traditional unga bunga go right gameplay that we've all come to know and love. The whole point was like you'd manipulate the terrain of the environment to gain speed, and you'd- you'd explore to get secrets that weren't too off the beaten path, and it was great, it was good time, it was sick. The game's never made you, like, switch direction unless you did it yourself to look for a secret or, like, maybe a checkpoint that you left behind or something like that. It never strayed away from the, 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 the functioning formula. And, and, like, I'm not saying Sonic CD does that, but halfway through the level, the game will be like, okay, sick! Now scale Mount Everest. The game's level design is all over the fucking place and it's pissing me off. What kind of level design is this? Who designed this? Who thought this was fucking good? Look at this, it's filling it with springs! Oh! Ah, yes! Welcome to Reddit. <coughs> what the fuck is the point of that? What is that? How does that help anything? Okay? That being said, if you take the time to really play Sonic CD like it's intended to be played, and you completely remove Sonic from the equation, it's actually a really fun time. It's got challenging platforming, maze-like puzzles and stuff, it's, it's really good, but it's a Sonic game. Let's do a little three-point summary of Sonic CD's level design. Number one, it's pretty anti-Sonic. Number two, it's a pretty bad slog at times. And number three, I have a rash on my thyroid, please call a doctor. Now that we've addressed the uh, elephant in the room, let's talk about the good things. The game is a killer soundtrack and honestly, Instead of talking about the Japanese one, which everyone knows is fantastic, I want to talk about the US one. Part of why I'm covering the US soundtrack as well is because I'm a, a little crusty Australian 3 foot 2 or <laughs> And I only grew up with the, the, the US soundtrack on Gems Collection. While the European and Japanese soundtrack is very much LOL Happy Go Go Caramel Dan Zen Japan funny Big Chungus soundtrack, the US one gives me severe anxiety. You know, Palm Tree Panic people say is probably not as panicky as it should be, but you know what, I disagree. I feel like when I'm illegally crossing the freeway, this plays in my head whenever a car is inches away from crushing me. <laughs> Collision Chaos sounds like if I was at a funeral, like the first five seconds, and then like the dead person got out of the coffin. <laughs> Collision Chaos Bad Future sounds like either me stepping foot in the depths of hell, or me attending a reddit convention. <laughs> Collision Chaos Good Future honestly sounds- it's just noises, like, there's no, like, coherent structure to it. It feels like it's just a series of assorted, like, whacks and shit. Like, it's not great. Tidal Tempest is groovy. Tidal Tempest Present US is, is honestly probably one of my favorite tracks in the game. Just a quick note about, um, Tidal Tempest Good Future. As a kid, there's, there's like these weird, like, noises in the background of the Good Future theme, and like, they sound a lot like donkey noises, and that's like that- Because as, as a kid, that was the funniest shit to me. Because I'd imagine fucking Trick barging in going, Hey, where's me donkey? No jokes about Quartz Quadrant, that's, that's genuinely a banger. I would argue Wacky Workbench has the best soundtrack out of the Japanese version and the US version, because it sounds so damn 90s. Nineties kids remember? Uh, you remember Nirvana? You remember Nickelodeon? You remember fucking Camp 
lake, but that's not shit. Remember Smosh? Remember Nine Cat? <laughs> Again, no joke for Stardust Speedway. I really just have to take a moment to appreciate how much of a banger it is. Metallic Madness sucks. It's what plays in my head when, like, you teach a boomer how to open fucking Microsoft PowerPoint. <laughs> All the rest of the tracks are pretty dope, but I felt the need to go through the stages because they're, they're probably what you're going to be hearing for 90% of the game. But, however, special shoutouts to one song. I like to call this song the personification of toe stubbing. The boss fights of this game are quirky. The first boss of the game in Pop Tree Panic is like a chicken thing with boxing gloves. It's kind of sick. And if you get the good future, it turns pink, which is based. The boss fight of Collision Chaos is... Like, fucking pinball? Like... It's... Uh, I don't know. Title Tempest's boss fight is... He surrounds himself with bubbles? Yep. Collision Chaos... Oh, wait, I fucking said that. Quartz Quadrant's boss fight is like... Uh, you run on a... Uh, like a treadmill? I... I don't know. Wacky Workbench's boss fight is... I don't even- I don't even know what the fuck this is. You race Metal Sonic in Stardust Speedway, which is sick. Like, it's honestly a really cool boss fight, and it's really fun, and it's like, the most memorable moment of this game. Eggman is like, chasing you with his femboy laser, so you're a better run. And Metallic Madness- I don't- what the fuck? I'm unable to explain, like, half of these boss fights, because they look so dumb. Like, imagine if you were playing Mario 1, and you got to, like, the Bowser castle, and instead of fighting Bowser, you fought some, like, mechanical cube with like chicken legs and pinball flippers and like spikes on the top and it would it would like run at you at the speed of light like how would you describe that what would you describe this game also has special stages and wow they are fantastic some pseudo 3d bullshit that some tech tard can explain in the chat but basically it's like you hit ufos you don't touch the water beat all of them and you get a time stone they get really hard and you collect all of them and you get a good ending stop playing sonic games awesome eight minutes into the video and i still haven't talked about the main fucking gimmick yet but that's what you get from someone who tries to defend a bad game time travel the gimmick that the box art conveys in absolutely no way <laughs> and apparently the game itself doesn't even give a shit about it every stage has a past good future present and bad future variation of the stage which you could uh, probably figure out from the last like four minutes of the video. You wanna travel back and forward in time? Well, you just gotta run past this pole. Man, I really wish it was that easy. To travel back and forward in time, you need to run past the pole, keep the speed for like, t what seems like an eternity, a cosmic eternity, and you better fucking pray that you don't hit a spike, a wall, an enemy, a glitched spring, another time post. <laughs> oh, and it really doesn't help that the game's level design is like, <laughs> This. Did I mention that towards the end of the cycle, if you lose your speed, you lose the time state completely? Also, there are no flickies in the game this time. It's a fucking chicken. Come on. Come on, you big bastard. Despite all these changes, the physics haven't actually, like, changed at all. In fact, Sonic's moveset has actually expanded. Sonic can jump, roll, spin dash, and new to his arsenal, it- asshole nil. New to his arsenal is the super peel out. This move would be absolutely useless if it weren't for the fact that the spin dash in this game sucks cock. So with like all this shit aside, do I think Sonic CD's bad? abso fucking lootly It's like a bathtub turd. However, I feel like Sonic CD has a lot of small things that are really, really well done. For as much as I hearkened on the music and kind of made fun of it, the music really is phenomenal. The presentation and art style is absolutely phenomenal. The game is a really interesting and unique plot, and I'd even say the game is fun to play sometimes. So yeah, I do think we are pretty unnecessarily mean to Sonic CD. So let's, uh, let's, let's stop doing that. Let's stop that. My wishes are for the new Sonic game to have a completely original OST inspired by the likes of Toby Turner, that's... <laughs>